in a pressurized gas tank natural gas tank propane tank or a barbecue tank or a welding um, um, oxyacetylene cylinder things like that uh, there are two types of stress on that uh, two types of failure so one can be the circumferential stress which acts uh, this way this way and then um, another one can be the longitudinal stress this way so we're going to develop this both equation they're very simple equation so if we think about the circumferential so this is the cross section uh, to find out the circumferential so if we cut um, this way and then see uh, what's going on there so there is the cut section of this so to calculate the uh, the the force due to pressure uh, let's say um, so we're trying to calculate the uh, circumferential stress say so sigma tc that is uh, used to define circumferential stress now to calculate the force due to the pressure force due to the pressure we can say the pressure times the area uh, area the projected area if we look at um, um, if we look at this direction or from the top it's gonna be a rectangle so it's gonna be L the length of the tank see so if this is the length length of the tank times the uh, diameter internal diameter so that is the force due to the um, pressure inside the tank now let's calculate this uh, tensile force TC so you can calculate this TC by the tensile circumferential stress times the area now area this time is um, this area so that area is basically thickness times the length so t times l now if we balance this force i have two of this two of this tc so we can write two tc is equal to p uh, and then this sub replace all those tc is sigma tc times thickness times the length is equal to p is small p pressure times the length times the internal diameter so if we solve for sigma t c we'll find that p small p pressure times diameter by twice the thickness so that's the circumferential stress now if we calculate the longitudinal stress longitudinal stress expressed by sigma tensile l so here in this case if we look at this way the projected area would be pi by 4 di square then if we times the pressure internal pressure p that would be the capital p force due to pressure now to calculate the tensile force this is the metal or material area so that area we can calculate by pi d times the uh, sigma tensile l so if we balance these two forces so we can write uh, the um, the force due to the pressure which is pi by 4 di square times the small p is equal to the balancing force due to the material so material is trying to um, apply force um, um, to this direction so that it doesn't burst so that force is pi d times the it's going to be thickness pi d times thickness so pi d i times thickness t times the sigma t l if we solve for 
sigma tensile longitudinal we'll find pi di sorry pdi divided by 4t now we can see that this stress is half of the circumferential stress so basically sigma tensile longitudinal is half of the sigma tensile circumferential so in theory it will never fail due to um, um, longitudinally it will never fail because it's the half of the circumferential so the failure typically will try to kind of separate this tank if we have a joint here or anything it will try to separate this way from here so it will really fail this way assume this weld is uh, well done and enough strong enough so there is the longitudinal stress and circumferential stress uh, in a gas tank now we have to be careful one thing this formula is only apply for thin wall pressure vessel so thin wall to be considered something thin wall the condition is t by ri thickness by internal radius must be less than or equal to 0.1 so it's time we solve a problem we have to check these conditions uh, if it's not a thin wall pressure vessels then this none of these formulas applies